Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at inductive reactants for inductors and AC circuits. So let's get into it. Now, you should remember that we saw capacitive reactants for capacitors and AC circuits, and this is just the same, but this time for inductors. So it says that inductive reactance is analogous to capacitive reactance seen earlier, so it's similar. We give inductive reactance the symbol capital X lowercase l, and we define inductive reactance as the opposition of an inductor to change in current, i.e. an AC current. It can be calculated by considering the voltage and current in a circuit. So we have XL equals V over I, where XL is inductive reactance measured in ohms, V is voltage measured in volts, and I is current measured in amps. Remember, reactance is similar to resistance but not the same thing, but we do see a similarity with the equation for resistance R equals V over I, where we can swap out resistance and put in inductive reactance. XL equals V over I. Notice as well how this is almost identical to the capacitive reactance relationship XC equals V over I. Next, it says that inductors oppose high frequency currents and allow through low frequency currents. So since XL is proportional to 1 over I from this relationship here, ignoring the voltage, and the current I is proportional to 1 over the frequency for inductors in AC circuits, which we saw in the previous video on inductors in AC circuits, then that means we can replace the current I here with 1 over the frequency, which gives us 1 divided by 1 divided by frequency. And you might remember from maths that 1 divided by 1 divided by something is the same as bringing that lower term up to the top. So this would be the same as XL is proportional to F. So we can say that inductive reactance XL varies directly with the frequency F. And we can actually expand this into an equation. So it can be shown that inductive reactance can be calculated from the frequency of the supply and the inductance L of the circuit, where XL is equal to 2 pi FL. Where XL is inductive reactance measured in ohms, F is the frequency of the AC supply measured in hertz, and L is inductance measured in henrys. So if we look at this relationship, XL is proportional to F, we can work out why the inductors oppose high frequency currents and allow through low frequency currents. So for low frequency currents, first of all, when frequency F is small, that means that XL, the inductive reactance, is small as well, which means it's going to allow through more current. However, if the frequency of the current is high, then that means that inductive reactance XL is also high, which means it's going to oppose the high frequency current. As a little summary, an inductor can be used to block AC signals while transmitting DC signals since the current decreases when the frequency increases. And a capacitor can be used to block DC signals while transmitting AC signals since the current increases when the frequency increases. And lastly, we can conclude that in a circuit, an inductor has the opposite effect to a capacitor. And there are various applications which make use of these properties of inductors and capacitors, such as in loudspeakers with woofers, subwoofers, and tweeters, and in the filtering of signals. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.